guys. Um, I thought I would show you a real quick video on the actual fodder process that I do every morning. I'm a little late today, um, but um, you can't see the very bottom drain pan and buckets that we have hanging, but I thought I would go and do an actual run through of what I do every morning with the fodder so you can see uh, what that involves and the time that it takes. So I'm just gonna go and start working and then I'll stop this afterwards and we'll go from there. I'm spraying the lids um, with just a, a little spritz of vinegar water with a couple drops of thieves oil and that's just to help kind of keep off any potential mold or whatever that might be coming through. And then I put them with the bottom three trays on our seven day tray system, keep lids on them. Sometimes they stick. Dumping out the drain pan. This is our soak buckets. Um, it's basically a bottom bucket. The inside bucket has holes. You'll notice that this stack is shorter. This is the um, stack that we use for our meat birds. And we just found that the taller grass was too much for the crops, especially when they were young. So we just shortened it down um, so that they get more of the seed, more of the fiber from the seed, less of the grass, but enough of the, the benefits. And there's this drain pan. On this one, we just cover the bottom two days. Here's our second soap bucket. So here what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to pull these out, dump the buckets of water, and then I'll rinse them a little bit in some fresh water before I add them to the bottom trays. have a few extra trays left over um, we, since we're not doing the full seven days on the second stack. So we've been letting the trays dry overnight after spraying them out. So I just kind of double check and make sure that sometimes some grass is still in there. Um, but I'll add those to the bottom. I also give them a quick spritz, just a little bit of the vinegar around the edges just to make sure My spray is almost empty, that's why I'm, I usually don't do that many squirts. Um, but at this point now, I'll just take the seed, make sure I get it all out of the 
And you can see on this, this is the one that they're in. Hopefully you can see all the little holes. So the seed goes in here, this goes in the regular bucket, the filled with water, so we can just pull this out and help strain. And then I just spread the seed. As evenly as I can, I try not to stress it too much. You just don't want any real bare areas or real thick areas. And then again, the lid oops, goes on this. And I was incorrect. I'm sorry. I'm not putting it on the third day on here either. It's for the bottom one. Same thing. Just spread it around. Uh, yeah, you can just barely see me. Put the lid on. Okay, now is when I my water jugs. And while this one's filling up, the second one's filling up, I'll go ahead and water one of the towers. And it's just as simple as literally just pouring it over the top. And try to make sure I'm getting as much of an even area covered as possible. I do add vinegar with some of the thieves in that, maybe a splash to each bucket. I ran out yesterday and I forgot to bring some out here today. So one day without is not gonna hurt anything. Okay, so now I'll do this one. And my husband being really, really smart to help make sure the water came out more evenly and quicker, cut some holes in the thing so that it flowed more freely. He's smart like that. So while these are starting to drain, I'm going to rinse out my soap buckets just to make sure that there's not any residual stuff left in. And I'll put those back and then I'll show you the last step. stagger the top uncovered trays. We found that that kind of helps. These trays will tend to bow in the middle from the weight of the seeds and the water. And so this is a way to just keep the water flowing through and not pooling in the center of those. Um, it, it seemed to help the issue that we were having, so we just continue doing it. 
And the frame that my husband built just works fairly well. You can see I'm just alternating the frames. And they'll continue to drip through and drain. Um, and then tonight, my husband will come in, Joe will come in, and he'll uh, rinse some seed, uh, fill the buckets, rinse some seed, and then start the soaking, and he'll um, flatten all these out again. Actually, I'll take that. He'll rotate them again, water them, and then stagger them. So that helps the grass, too, because it, it'll keep it more even growth on the top from being able to access the light. So that's it. All told, right at 10 minutes. And that's including my intro and stuff. So it doesn't take a lot of time, and for the cost savings that we're seeing, definitely worth it to us. So thanks, you guys, for watching. And if you have any questions, post those down below and I'll do my best to answer as quick as I can. Thanks guys.